right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this month's edition of Hostaway's webinar series. We're going to talk about our product, uh, the Hostaway product roundup, but we'll wait a couple of more seconds to let people in. Zoom uh, likes to wait to let people in. We've got a record attendance here today. It's amazing to see everyone. If you if you want, you can send a message uh, on the chat, but do be aware that if you put your first name and your location, some people might reach out to you for marketing purposes later on. I'm not talking about post away, but, but others who might be joining this webinar. Well, hi, Reno, nice to see you here. I hope, I hope you got some support for those API questions. All right, so uh, let's start. First of all, uh, we're gonna, uh, we're going to record this. It's going to be available on YouTube uh, later on. Um, and I would like all of you to ask uh, any questions you have in the QA section um, of the webinar. Uh, we won't be able to take them from the chat because once once the chat scrolls up, it will be gone almost forever. Uh, but on the Q&A section, please do ask any questions. Uh, the only thing I would ask, if you have any account-specific questions, if you want to set up a functionality within your account, uh, probably we won't be able to address it on this webinar. So please contact support at hostway.com. Um, but if it's generic questions that you think might interest others about the functionality of our software, please do put it in the QA section and we'll get to it all. Uh, so uh, first of all, let me introduce who's here. We got uh, me, uh, my name is Marcus from Hostaway. Um, I'm the CEO and co-founder. Um, and we have uh, Maria, who's our VP of product, and Josh, who's our uh, chief customer officer, and then Andrew, who's our customer success engineer. I believe that many of you have, have met these people before, so it's, it's great to have everyone on a webinar here. Um, next slide. We are going to, yeah, first, let me give you a short introduction to those who are not familiar with Hostaway yet. We're the leading all-in-one short-term rental software for property managers. We actually celebrated a bit this week. We reached uh, 100 employees. And, um, and to those of you who are joining in this webinar, if you're a customer, I'm pretty sure you you joined us in the, in the last couple of years because we, we've grown uh, tremendously. And, um, and we, we got a, a very, very aggressive uh, expansion plan for next year. But most importantly, we want to make a lot of improvements to our product because we know how important it is to have a proper PMS as the core of every property man management operation. And on the screen here, you see, a, you see a map. These are some of our offices. We have more opening up uh, as we expand. Um, and I'm right now, uh, calling in from Florida, Josh is in Texas, Maria is in Barcelona, and Andrew is in Toronto. So let's uh, let's get started. Um, all right. So the the theme of 2022. This is just a quick recap of what we did, but we'll go in uh, during this webinar uh, and show you what uh, what actually this means for you. But first of all, what we wanted to do was strengthen your business. Um, 2022 saw a slight shift in the industry compared to 2021. Some of the trends that were new in 2021, like remote working or, or different locations, they continued and some tapered off and other trends took their place. Um, but, uh, but one thing that, uh, that we wanted to make sure is that we can strengthen your business. One, one uh, very critical way of doing that was improving our booking engine, helping you get direct bookings. Another one is we added on new channels uh, to help you market your properties. And also we continued working with our existing channel partners to make sure that we, we offer better marketing tools than anyone else. And um, I, I've noticed that some people are spreading misinformation. Maybe they're in, intimidated by us, but uh, this is stuff you can Google yourself. Go and Google Airbnb preferred partners, who cannot come home partners, or Verbo elite partners, you will find out that it's Hostaway who's there. We have the best connections with all these major OTAs. We also have Marriott Homes and Villas. Uh, Google Travel is being launched as we speak. Um, so don't, don't believe anyone who says that we, we don't have the best connections, but we're gonna continue improving them, of course. Now, 
increasing your margins. This is something that has become a, a very strong topic of 2022. This is important because for, for two reasons. First of all, when a business grows, I think a lot of you saw in 2021 and 2022, you see a lot of growth. And the moment you stop and think about your business as a whole, especially after a fast period of growing, you'll find out that there's a lot of things that are, are breaking or not working. And a lot of things are being done inefficiently. And that's when you start looking in, into things such as costs. And that's what a lot of you were doing last year, which is why we focus on tools to help you improve your margins, uh, upselling financial reporting. And one of the, the reasons for that is that employees, as, as I'm sure you all, all experienced it, it wasn't easy uh, getting employees last year. And one way that we're helping from a product standpoint with this is training new employees for property managers is very expensive. And one reason that for that is that many property managers are using hard to use antiquated software. Um, Hostaway is easy to use and understand, very easy to train, um, but also pretty nice to use, which is why employees tend to stay if you have a good software in place. But if, if you are expanding or replace staff, it's much faster to train them if they're using Hostaway. And we even hosted a webinar uh, focused exclusively on improving your margin because as our financial reporting, which remains one of the, the strongest tools in the in the industry, uh, keeps getting better. We've, we've also found out that the way a lot of our customers structure their expenses and structure their revenues and even their entire business model and contracts with the owners, uh, there are this substantial room for improvements there. So we, we wanted to make it as easy as possible for you to improve your, your margins. All right, next, uh, next slide. So now I will hand over to Maria and she can share a bit on what happened in 2022 regarding the product. Thank you, Marcus. I wasn't finding the uh, mute button. And actually, you brought the uh, the webinar that we did last year on on increasing your your bottom line. I was going to mention it later, so you kind of st stole the thunder from me there <laughs> a little bit. But anyway, it's great. So um, yes, um, actually, I jump a little bit a slide here. One second, I have to go to the other one. Yeah, my computer is a little bit too fast. All right, so. We spoke about the themes um, in 2021. Um, we figure very much that, and we saw in the data that the direct sales and the direct distribution it was going to grow a lot of in, in importance, and that became a reality in 2022. So also um, the aim for the product team at Hostaway is to uh, making sure that this whole process of uh, distribution, um, understanding your business, uh, managing your guest communication, your reservations, et cetera, and the operational part of it, uh, cleanings, uh, smart logs, et cetera, it all stays in one place. The, our idea, our vision and mission um, uh, from Hostaway is to make sure that we save you time, we automate as much as possible, and we centralize as much as possible for you to, to uh, spend your time growing your business. Um, so in 2022, we release a lot of things. So today I'm just going to uh, do a little bit on a few highlights or talk a little, uh, uh, about a few highlights regarding the booking engine, the guest portal, rental agreements, financial reporting and owner statements, and then a little bit about what we added on the um, channel distribution and on our partnerships as well. So without further ado, then I move on to the booking engine. Um, as I mentioned earlier, in 2021, we saw the importance of direct sales growing and 2022 became a reality. So for those of you that are with us uh, for, for some time, you remember that in 2022, in 2021, we released the new booking engine and it was kind of an MVP, but 2022 was the year where we made it the best uh, booking engine there is in the industry, in my humble opinion. Um, what we did, we improved the booking pages, especially the checkout pages, the end uh, process of the booking in order to make it as slick as possible, as uh, seamless as possible for the guests to, to and easy as possible to um, convert, basically. So the idea is always to um, 
reduce the drop off at the end of the booking process and increase the conversion. We introduced a inquiry flow very similar to Airbnb, which is connected to our unified inbox. Um, you can actually approve or decline um, uh, inquiries from, from our system as well. We added upselling during the booking process. So you, this is fully configurable from, from host away. So you can um, upsell products and services through uh, the booking engine. Uh, we added more searching capabilities, so you can search by price filter. Um, on the promotional um, uh, parts and to showcase your listings, we now uh, allow you to add videos on the homepage and also on the listing page on the image carousel. We added more customization options regarding fonts, uh, colors, and also the pages, so you can create multiple pages for one booking engine. For those of you that have a brand website or a marketing websites and want to um, make it transactional, you can use our widgets, the search widget. So it's a matter of minutes that you can install the search widget on your main websites and it will redirect to a booking engine and you will have a transactional website in a few minutes. Um, the booking engine is also instant book or robust book, a little bit related to the inquiry flow. And we keep supporting domains and subdomains, so you can keep your SEO strategy uh, within the same space. I added a few screenshots here, how it looks like. One of the most important things that I have to say is that we focus a lot on the mobile responsive, responsiveness of the, of the booking engine. This is key because what we saw in our data is that most of the searches that happened on the booking engine happened on the mobile devices. The conversion is a 50-50 in between the desktop and the mobile, but leaning towards mobile. So it's really, really important that the, the, uh, the booking engine performs well on the mobile devices. I think I have yeah, some slides about the inquiry and how it looks on the on the inbox. So basically, as I mentioned before, you can approve or cancel the uh, the reservation from the inbox. So it's fully connected to the uh, to the booking engine. And we added a component to uh, upsell products and services. Again, this is uh, fully configurable from the um, uh, from the hostaway dashboard. You can decide on the names that you give to your extras. You can decide whether uh, you can uh, give the guest the option to buy multiple instances of that product, of that service, and it will be added immediately to, uh, to the booking. Uh, and then you can, of course, um, decide how to, how to uh, collect payment for that, uh, for that booking. Um, also, we try to inform the guest at all times what's the price, uh, what is the detail of the price, and what, uh, because you can use our auto charges system, our payment system, to split charges between the different status of the reservation. So you may want to collect 50% of the reservation at the, at, the, uh, at the reservation time, and then another 50% before checking time. We inform the guest what that is split and when uh, the amounts are due so they are not uh, surprised with any uh, charges in the future um okay so another uh, big um release that we did in 2022 very much related to bringing the end-to-end -end process of these uh, of the direct sales um the operational part and the guest communication is the rental agreements we uh, you have now available um, on our listings pages a fully customizable rental agreement. So uh, you, we give you a template where you can uh, fully customize that template. You can use that dynamic data from the reservations and the listings as well on that template. Most importantly, it, allow, it allows for e-signatures. So you, you can send it to the guest through our automation system and can electronically sign the agreements. It can be added as a condition for message automation. So you can decide whether to send a message based on whether an agreement has been signed, not signed, or maybe it's not required, the signature as well. And also can be sent as a separate link or can be uh, included into the guest portal. Which brings me to the next most important thing released that we did in 2022, which is the guest portal. We introduced a new look and feel. So basically, we completely revamped as well the guest portal. 
And with the idea to match it, um, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the look and feel to the, uh, to the booking engine, as always with the idea to have a seamless experience between one step and the other. Um, we introduce the stages, pending and confirmed. This is very important because um, whenever you send information to a guest pertaining to your property, pertaining to the checking instructions, to door codes, etc., you don't want to send it without a confirmation or you don't want to send it without some sort of payment. So make sure that uh, the reservation is, is confirmed, is, is, is good to go. So now you can share the information. And this happens automatically. So whenever the reservation changes the status to confirmed, we will update the, the guest portal with the, res, uh, uh, the information uh, related to the check-in. And this is configurable as well in HostAway. So you can choose what information to show. Um, we added a new status cancelled as well, just purely to keep uh, the, uh, the guests informed. I think it's very important as well that your guests are informed what's happening with their reservation, what's happening with their payments, what's happening um, with, um, uh, with the whole process. Um, they will have available signed rental agreements if they sign it, and you can use the guest portal for quoting purposes as well, because there is a reservation price breakdown there. Um, don't know if there are any questions so far. Maybe there, you want you guys jump in or anything. So I tend to talk a lot. So let me know if you want me to stop and answer some questions. But anyway, um, a few screenshots of how it looks like uh, the guest portal and the stages that I talked about. So the first one would be this one um, stage pending. So there's no uh, payments related to the uh, to the booking. The guest can then finalize the booking, which means entering the payment information, and then it becomes confirmed. And when it becomes confirmed, you will see the difference that in here I have my exact address uh, of the listing, but before I didn't. So only if I'm sure that the reservation is firm, I will uh, share important details with the guest. Okay. So, of course, that's great. Um, but we spoke about um, strengthening your business, uh, increasing your margins, understanding how your business performance um, is performing. Um, you could do that, of course. You can go to every channel. You can download reports from Airbnb. You can download reports from Verbo. You can download reports from uh, Expedia, et cetera. But um, our objective is always to aggregate and centralize as much as possible and to provide the most accurate information possible. So we already have the product financial reporting for a number of years in our, in our um, product stack. But what we did in 2022, and based on your feedback as well, um, was to make it even more flexible than it is today. So we recognize that you guys have different business models, different contractual uh, ways of, of managing your relationship with your owners, et cetera. Um, and we added a ton of flexibility to those, uh, to those systems. For financial reporting, uh, we, um, we added the possibility of creating formulas by reservation status and channels. So maybe you want to understand um, how much money is gone on cancellations. You can do that. Uh, we added the possibility of creating formulas within formulas to ease the, the formula creation. We report on payment services and channel commissions, so you know very well where your costs are. Um, and we add support for ICAL reservations as well. Um, some other maybe uh, improvements that we did a little bit related to the uh, configuration uh, and the flexibility is the addition and addition of financial fields to a reservation, something that you can do. So basically the idea is that we offer you uh, uh, um, a system that is fully configurable to your, to your business needs. Regarding owner statements, um, owner statements, um, the focus for owner statements, I think is gonna be more on 2023 than it's been on 2022, but still we did some things to it. So we added categories to expenses, um, so for reporting purposes and support for attachments. So you can uh, upload the receipt for a maintenance, for instance, say if something is broken on a, on a, on a, on a property, um, you can add the receipt for that. Um, and also support for ICAP. 
Okay, so on the distribution and the operation parts, we added two um, channels to the distribution mix. That's Home and Villas by Marit International and Amadeus Global Distribution System. On the, uh, on the partnerships, um, we have a very good partnership with Hopper. And for those of you that don't know Hopper, well, you probably know already, but it's the most downloaded travel app in the United States today. So that's another possibility of distributing in this channel. And on the operational front, we uh, integrate with remote lock. And that means that we um, are able to manage and connect door locks directly from the Hostaways dashboard to your properties through remote lock. Okay, so what's going to happen in 2023? Um, we basically are going to focus more or less on the same things. There are more things that are going to happen, but it's, uh, these are key. As, uh, or at least I see it as key for, for 2023. We keep adding to our distribution um, offering. So we will um, um, add Google Travel uh, as a marketing channel with the uh, transactional part of that through our booking engine. On the booking engine, we'll continue expanding these features to allow for reviews and multiple booking engines. So you can potentially sell different portfolios on different on different booking engines. So you can target different audiences as well. Um, we will bring the upselling functionality to the guest portal. So what we, what you saw on the booking engine that will happen as well through the guest portal. And the good thing here is that this will allow you to upsell on the other channels as well. So to collect um, um, or to sell products and services from reservation from Airbnb, booking.com, Expedia, et cetera. It's gonna be the year of the mobile app. So at the beginning of 2022, we did, um, uh, we added some functionality that you told us it was missing related to the calendar, related to reservations, to the inbox. Uh, we added the possibility of snoozing messages, archiving messages, etc. But now we want to bring the uh, the look and feel uh, to the 21st century, I would say. <laughs> it's uh, And uh, we are working on the redesign, so basically from the UX and UI perspective. We will probably let, uh, add some new functionality as well to it. Uh, but the focus will be definitely on the UX. We will give you more options on the smart lock integrations. We will give you also more options on the tasks module. Uh, this is going to be an upgrade of the tasks module. And we will bring the front desk and the online check-in form to host away. We're going to provide a check-in form, the collection of guest details, ID verification, and guides as well. On the financial side, um, whilst we continue adding more um, accuracy and more data to financial reporting, we're also going to bring functionality towards accounting and reconciliation. So I'm hoping that 2023 will be very, very successful, even more successful than it has been 2022. Um, I hope I see you again here maybe in six months or at the end of 2024, and we're able to talk about all of these things and more. So if no questions of anything from you, Marcus, Andrew, I will then pass it on to Josh, maybe. Yeah, we can maybe take the questions at the end. I see really okay. good questions in the QA section. So please uh, continue putting them there. We'll we'll get back to them them all at the end. Okay. So Josh, the floor, is, the floor is yours. All right. Well, thanks, Maria. Um, I know uh, there's a lot of stuff to unpack there. Um, and we uh, we did have a very, very good year here in uh, 22, 2022 as far as product in uh, with our company. Um, and uh, I hope everybody is off to a great start to their 2023. So first, I want to uh, just kind of uh, go over uh, these features and functions that Maria are talking about uh, on how to get uh, training on this or more information on these. Uh, we'll definitely do the uh, uh, Q&A here in just a little bit.
But uh, for future reference, if you want more training or need more information on any features, email support at hostway.com and just put the feature inside of the, the subject or uh, and, and then let them know in the email um, what the uh, what you're needing. Do you need training on this? Do you need retraining? And that doesn't even have to be on this. Uh, a lot of customers that maybe have joined two years ago, I get this a lot. Um, we are very fast growing and we're all constantly adding new features to our product. So if you joined two years ago, you probably don't uh, know uh, some of the good value adds that we have added to Hostway. Uh, so uh, feel free to reach out to the support team at any time. Uh, they'll get you over to our customer success team, which uh, I'll be talking about here in a minute. I have been reading your comments and questions over here uh, in our Q&A, so, uh, and they do align with what I'm about to talk, but always uh, I'm more than glad to field those. So let's get started into it. So for, uh, number one, training uh, and support uh, training, email support. We'll get somebody to get in touch with you. Let's talk about uh, our, the support and our overall customer success roadmap for 2023. So in 2022, um, like I said, we we had a very good year at Hostway. We brought on uh, some, some clients that uh, have uh, uh, really have accelerated our growth. Uh, and with that comes the exciting part of also scaling our uh, support uh, and customer success departments. Uh, it is a very exciting time, uh, but it also uh, uh, can uh, lead to some uh, disruptions at times. So uh, when I came on board here, the uh, the main thing that uh, Marcus and Sauber and uh, uh, our CEO and, and co-founders uh, uh, told me was our customer success is our success, which as you can see is one of our values here at Hostaway, which is uh, exactly what we're doing. So uh, in our support team uh, last year, uh, we increased our headcount by 166%. Um, and we uh, intend to double that within the first half of this year, with in addition to the customer success managers, which I will talk about here in a minute. Uh, also phone support. Phone support uh, in this industry, and I'm a big believer in uh, not charging for phone support. Uh, for phone support in this uh, certain uh, uh, sector is, is it's either charged or it's not even offered at all. So one of the main drivers for me right now and focuses uh, uh, in this first quarter is getting our dedicated phone team together so that you're not missing, we're not missing calls. Um, and then we can answer uh, 24 hours, seven days a week. You guys that are property management companies uh, you're on the go a lot. Uh, and so you're not always in front of a computer to answer emails and things like that. You want to be able to call and get someone on the phone, which we completely understand. Um, and it's a very heavy focus of ours right now, as well as getting response times down on tickets. So uh, with the increase in staff, it also comes you know, with, uh, we've uh, increased our standards as far as um, the support representatives that we're bringing on. Uh, we have a very high standard that's set. Uh, so uh, it takes us a while to get those team members uh, recruited and hired on uh, simply because uh, we just don't bring anyone on to host way. We want to make sure we're bringing the best of best on to our uh, to our teams. Um, with that, uh, I also want to talk about something I'm also very excited about, which answers a, a question that I saw in here. And I think that will um, alleviate a lot of one on one trainings and just basic questions that might come in is our CS webinars. So Andrew, who's on our on this call as well with us, uh, is uh, our customer uh, success engineer. And what we're going to do is we're going to launch uh, webinars uh, for uh, uh, our uh, our install base, so our, our clients. And these uh, webinars are going to include themes such as office hours. So uh, that is where you, the customer, can come in and uh, just ask questions. Right? We'll have somebody there. We'll have a subject matter expert, whether it be Andrew somebody from our product team or somebody from our CS team there to just answer questions and walk through different things in Hostway. Um, and it's just like an essay expert um, kind of uh, uh, webinar. We'll be doing these every every other week. Um, and those are going to be rolling out uh, this quarter. And so you'll get an email if you are a customer of Hostway on how to sign up for those. Um, and then another one is uh, feature specific. So we are um, working with our support team to see what um, what are the most uh, uh, asked questions into our support team? And we're going to start doing webinars uh, and walkthroughs of our product and answering those questions so that 
you can join up and uh, maybe you don't know um, uh, the question that's being asked that you will end up having to have the same question later on as you dive deeper down into uh, Hostelways. So those feature specific uh, webinars will be, uh, we'll take financial reporting, for example, uh, and go through the ins and outs of that. I know that is a very heavy um, um, uh, support uh, question that's asked and, and it does require uh, a bit of um, uh, 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 training on. So uh, that's just one example. And then finally, um, uh, we also want to um, have our uh, learn from your peers. So this is going to be industry experts, such as you guys here uh, on this webinar. Uh, we, uh, I've, I've, I've seen a lot of success with this in uh, past uh, past companies where we we want to make sure that we're bringing you on, people that have been successful with Hostway, reduced your overhead, uh, increased your productivity, um, and um, uh, you had, are getting more revenue because of Hostway. And how did you implement Hostway uh, to show your peers, um, you know, what um, what your setup is? Because somebody in Florida that's using Hostway uh, uh, versus someone that's in New Jersey or California or really just in uh, even in a different stage of their business, right? So you might have five management uh, companies under product, under management, and then we have someone on that has 100, uh, and you want to get to 100, uh, and it's best to now go ahead and set up and learn host way and, and, and to a point where uh, you don't have to uh, uh, go through any pain points when you uh, start scaling up. So those are kind of things you can get out of uh, the learn from your peers. And then we'll also throw in some time to time some random uh, uh, other themes. But those are the ones we're going to start out with uh, with uh, with Andrew uh, and our, our success team uh, this year. Uh, and as far as volunteering for the learn from your peers, we'll also have that uh, information coming out via email as well. Um, and then. Again, here, um, the customer success managers. I saw someone mention something about account managers. This will be about the same thing. So uh, customer success managers, we are, uh, I'm very excited to finally get this off the ground. Um, this is something we have been working on uh, for quite some time now, but um, we're launching that, uh, our customer success managers. Um, and I want to make sure that I'm clear about what customer success managers are versus customer support. So um, I've outlined a couple of different things here. Um, our customer support team are going to be there to assist you in things like uh, training or uh, how do I do this um, inside of Hostway? Um, how do I, uh, you know, something's not working inside of Hostway or, um, you know, I'm interested in adopting this feature, but I don't know how. So that's that. those are basically uh, uh, host uh, support questions. And what your customer success managers are, while, while they can answer those questions, but mainly they're gonna be focused on uh, uh, some of the key pillars or things that I think that will um, that you're not gonna get anywhere else in the industry. And that's uh, things like business advice, right? So um, some people take it or leave it. Um, some people want it, some people don't. Some people th think they know uh, what they, uh, you know, the best, uh, uh, how to scale their business. Um, and that's that's great. Um, but we uh, uh, we see literally thousands of different business models um, and different businesses come through Hostway on a day-to-day -day basis. We know customers that are extremely successful and we know customers that are struggling. Uh, some of them which have the exact same number of process properties the exact same um, uh, price point when it comes to um, how they're doing things with uh, uh, different channels, um, but they needed they they're not doing the same thing that the ones that are successful. Now we had another webinar if you look back through our host away uh, YouTube channel there, uh, where Marcus kind of tries to break down uh, a business model uh, uh, for um, for property management companies, and that's just one of the things that we want to help out with. We want to be able to. Uh, um, assist you with making more revenue and that not, not just inside of Hostway, but just in based on our experience and what we've seen, like I said, with the thousands of customers that have came through uh, our onboarding teams uh, and that we've uh, spoken one-on-one -on -one with. So that would be proactively what will be um, uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, tasks of our customer success managers. We also want to go through best practices. So while I said support will be also uh, helping out with uh, training, uh, we want to show best practices in the industry. So, um, for example, if one channel, we know that if because uh, we are um, we are very um, 
uh, good partners with every channel that we have on our um, uh, our platform. Uh, so they tell us, and we partner with them. And when we talk about partners, I'm not talking about well, you know, we talk to each other, um, and they know us, and we know them. We are very, very tight with our partners, uh, and uh, we speak to them very often. And so they, there, it's in their advantage to have you uh, utilize their platform, uh, uh, their channel, as well as others. And um, we have a lot of clients that they are wanting to have on their platform. So um, best practices such as, uh, you know, on one channel, something might be labeled something completely different as far as an amenity. And we know you can rank up higher, uh, for example, in one channel, if you are answering quicker, or uh, if you are, um, uh, you have one amenity uh, clicked um, and uh, on one uh, channel, but not on the other channel, right? So we want to be able to uh, go through your account with you and make sure that you're set up uh, to get the best results. Uh, and that you're also utilizing HostAway in a way that we've seen uh, be the most beneficial because it is a very robust system. Uh, but there is there are a couple different ways to use the system. Um, we want to make sure that you are, uh, are, are are following those best practices because sometimes I'll get on a phone with a customer um, and they're they're doing multiple things and clicking multiple multiple places when they're really just is just one place to click. So we want to make sure that you're uh, using that streamlined as well. And then finally, as I mentioned, the one on one training uh, and retraining. This is going to be something that's uh, crucial as we continue to grow uh, because of, uh, like I said, the features that are being released not only as Maria talked about for 2023, but also for 2022, uh, we release constantly um, and uh, we want to make sure that you guys are uh, aware of everything that we have here at Hostway, uh, because you should be looking at uh, your 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 bill at the end of the month and saying uh, Hostway is not it's not even uh, worth talking about the cost of Hostway because the value you receive out of your Hostway subscription should uh, really trump uh, anything uh, it, trump the charges uh, because uh, we, we do have that value and a lot of customers see that. And if you're not, that is our job is to make sure that uh, we're getting you to that place. Uh, so I hope that uh, uh, answers a little bit of your questions about support. We're 100 percent focused on um, uh, continuing to grow our support staff and our customer success teams uh, and also offer other avenues uh, such as our webinars. Uh, to uh, uh, assist our customers uh, in uh, Hostway is a very is, is a business critical software. We understand that, and we we are going to be there 24 hours, seven days a week um, uh, to to to, uh, to support you. So that's all I've got for, for that, Maria. Uh, and hope that answers everybody's questions. Excellent. Thank you very much, Josh. Very exciting to see this. Um, it's going to be a great year for 2023. Um, all right, so we can have a few minutes for questions, Andrew. I think you've been answering some. So let me then maybe stop sharing. Right. Yes, Maria, I'm trying, you know, the best that I can, but we have many <laughs> questions. questions. So, yeah, yeah, it is a good opportunity to tell everyone, you know, so please put your questions on the Q&A rather than on the chat. So any question that we cannot address today, you know, we can answer later on, right? So if possible, because we can go over all of them. And there are many questions about the booking engine, Maria, you know, that you might uh, want to tell us a little bit more of what you have prepared. I see one here from Anthony, nice. Anthony Rallo, I guess. Um, do you have a date that you plan to launch multiple booking engine capabilities? Definitely by the end of January, for sure. Um, how, what about reviews on the booking engine? More or less the same timeline. So it's all going to happen in Q1, but I'm hoping in between yeah, the end of January, February, uh, we will see the light of day for those. Just looking for some good questions here. Maybe Andrew, do you have some on your ends? 
Okay, yes, uh, there was a question about uh, View 360, you know, if we are going to have that yes. on the booking engine. Yes, 360 so is something that has come that. quite often. So yes, it's in the plans as well. So there's a question, an interesting question here from Reno. Are the commissions from Expedia and Booking available via the API? So on the API, you have the access to the reservation details. Um, we don't expose the commissions there, but we expose it, we expose it on the financial reporting part. So on the API, there are endpoints for the financial reporting uh, fields. So they should be there. Um, from Expedia, maybe not because Expedia doesn't share that information, but Booking does, so you can find it there. Since we're talking about channels, uh, Maria, if you allow yeah. me, you know, I, I've seen some questions here about uh, Booking.com. Why does it take some time to export information, mm -hmm. you know, like listings from Hostaway? Uh, some questions about Expedia supporting short-term rentals. So I just would like to say that some of these things are not under our control, right? We try to support our clients the best that we can. You know, we have internal channels. We have an excellent relationship. We are elite partners, preferred partners with most of the channels, right? So, but that means that we also have to respect every business rule, every compliance that uh, our OTAs are applying. So for example, booking.com, it was one, why does it take long? It's because we review the listings. We review the information to make sure, you know, that when the listings are exported, they get with the correct information to booking.com. So that will prevent you, you know, for having issues uh, once you're, listing goes live and another thing that we do we ask if you are sure that you want your listing to go live so that you don't go live you know without making adjustments to your price right so this is part of the process that we have adjusted and it works for most of our clients with the best quality of integration without running into any surprises uh, unexpected uh, with low pricing for example right so this is one as for vrbo uh, Expedia questions that I'm getting about short-term rental. I don't know, that's their strategy. Please feel free to send us uh, to support any questions related to that. And I'll be glad to, to contact uh, VRBO or Expedia or any channel, you know, to get additional information about the channels. Okay. Thanks, Maria. So Andrew, we've got a question here. I'll answer the first part of it. You answer the second. So um, it's a question about onboarding, um, about having listings uh, on Airbnb. Does it make sense to set up the new listings in Airbnb now to prepare, or will it be easier to create the new listings via Hostaway? So I'll answer that part. The second part here is um, uh, su suggest setting up Expedia accounts, uh, but if Verbo is taking over those listings, should we wait? So. As far as if you are new to Hostway and you're getting ready to onboard, yes, 100%, it is way easier if you go ahead and have your listings on Airbnb. Uh, it makes it uh, extremely easy to import those uh, and then to get to other channels and create your, your, uh, um, your booking engine. Now, if you don't have an Airbnb account or um, you don't wanna use that channel for whatever reason, we would connect, uh, create the, um, the listings manually once you uh, on, on your initial kickoff call. Uh, but yes, it is easier to go ahead and have that on Airbnb. And the second part, Andrew, was uh, Hostway onboarding manual suggests setting up Expedia accounts, but if Verbo is taking over those listings, should we wait? I don't know if you have, might have that. Yes, that's exactly the case that I was addressing, right? So if, if someone got an information from Expedia, uh, you know, just send it to us to support so that we can check with, uh, but I, I don't have any information on that, right? So if they're taking over, not taking over, how is verbal? 
and Expedia Group are handling uh, existing cases. Uh, technically, what uh, sometimes they do is if you don't have your listings on Expedia, they can be promoted if you have your listings on Verbo and they are promoted on Expedia if someone is searching for your listings for uh, the specifics uh, on location and type of listing, they will display on Expedia, right? Under uh, certain circumstances and that is specified by Verbo, by Expedia, you know, according to the rules. So, it, but we don't have any information that Expedia, you know, will stop working, you know, with short-term rentals. So that's not a fact. We have many clients that use Expedia and uh, it works very well, technologically speaking, two different channels, completely different, right? Even though they're part of the same group, business group, technology-wise, they are two different integration and they work in a completely different way with HostAway and we support both. We support and we support very well, right? So as for the flow on creating listings, yeah, you're right. Because if you expect to be on Airbnb and you're not there yet, it is also a good exercise to start working on where you want your listing to be displayed. So then you can see, you know, how exactly you want your listing to look like rather than having to learn the process from a host away side. And like you said, you don't have to have the listings on Airbnb, but if you want to get that channel, yes, it is easier to start there, import your host away, and then we can create verbal if that's your next step, or we can link to your booking.com account if you already have the properties on booking.com, or we can export the, the listings to booking.com and create the listings in the process on booking.com. So yes, they, it, it depends on the uh, objective, you know, and intention. I usually recommend you start with Airbnb and Verbo if, you're, if you don't have uh, any listings and you are beginning your business, right? Because they, they work in a more similar way than booking.com and Expedia, right? But uh, anyway, that, that's the beginning of the journey, right? And after that, Yes, you can use all the channels and everything that we have available. And we strongly recommend that you do use as many channels as possible, you know, and be there. We also have Hopper, like uh, you have already seen. We have Marriott. We have many other channels, you know, that can be used. Also, an interesting mm -hmm. question about here: where to uh, someone that wants to build a website, and where to use the uh, booking engine or build your own website. I think it all depends on your objective. So, the booking engine. The benefit of the booking engine is that um, it's something that you can set up in minutes. You can configure to match your branding, and you will have a transactional site in minutes. Um, if on the other hand you want uh, and you have the resources or it's very important of course that you have the resources to 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 build your own website and you want to have a more personalized website you can use our public api so all of the information related uh, um, in, uh reservations listings uh conversations guest messaging payment etc uh it all flows through our public api and you can build um your website on top of that. Uh, there are other options, of course. You, as I mentioned during the uh, the, um, uh, the webinar, you can you can build your own marketing sites, and you can use our booking engine as a transactional part and drive uh, the bookings uh, through through the booking engine. Um, there are all the many options. Uh, we can guide you on what are the best options, also based on your on on, on your resources, your your capacity as well. But we cover most of the needs that that you guys have in that regard. Ria, yeah, I would like to add here. You know, it is important now that we have uh, many of our current clients here. It, it is good, and I, I know many of you. You know, and thank you for joining us. It's uh, always a pleasure to be together with uh, our clients. And uh, so, as you can see. We have a very tight relationship between customer success and product team, right? So this is this is something that we consider strategic in our company, and uh, 
for from everything that you saw Maria saying, you know, they're all real concerns about product, about the business, not about the product, but mostly about the business, right? On the short-term rental business. And many of them are feedback that I got in our meetings, you know, with clients, my colleagues got these feedbacks with clients and we got back to product and, and uh, our product team is very responsive. So you can check on the top of your dashboard. There is always something new. Every week, there is something new. There is sometimes a small improvement, sometimes a major improvement. Maybe sometimes an improvement that is not a great deal for you, but keep in mind, it could be a giant one, you know, for another one, because uh, each, each one of uh, the property managers has a different way of managing business, right? So many times I'm asked about best practices. Yes, we do have best practices. I always share experience from one client, and uh, the way they implemented things and uh, the way to use the dashboard, because again, right, each team has a different way. But it's, it's very important that everybody knows that all the feedback that is given is either incorporated or at least considered, right? It's never just a no, right? It could be that maybe the, uh, the channel works in a specific way so the product cannot go in a different way right so we do have this sort of limitation right absolutely but other See, than that we consider everything right maria absolutely so and we bring the customer to the center of the development and the product discovery actually uh, we have a, a program we call the early access program maybe um you can contact support as well for more details on those um, where you will have the opportunity to have early access to the features that we put out there. We do continuous release. We release every uh, every day, every week, um, and you can see what we what we release on the on our change log. So we are always very transparent of what we put out there. There's a question here, will the guest portal upsell enable us to upsell to OTA clients directly? Yes, not through the channel, of course, because the channel, uh, the, the sale in the channel already has happened. So you will receive the reservation on HostAway, but with the, uh, the upselling opportunity on the guest portal, you will be able to uh, um, promote these products and services through the guest portal and get them, get the guests, purchase them through there. Maria, got one here. Uh, do you have a timeline for when Hostway will support API connections to more than a single Virgo account? Yes, that's also happening very soon. Um, I don't want to keep put everything to the end of January, but more or less <laughs> everything is happening in that time frame. So yes, between end of January, beginning of February, that will likely happen. Yes. I also saw some questions on Google Travel, so elaborate a little bit more. So um, the connection with, with Google Travel will allow you to market your sites on, on Google. Um, you will be able to publish information about the listings, so images, descriptions, prices, etc. Google is not a transactional site, so no purchasing or not book, uh, bookings cannot be made through Google. So we will give you the option to uh, finalize the transaction or to drive the guests to the booking engine. And you will be able to create specific pages for, for those customers coming from, from Google Travel, which will also allow you a little bit to track the performance of the channel uh, through HostAway. And of course, you will have that information on our financial reporting system as well. I have another question here, Maria, interesting about haunting, right? So um, I don't have the name, but there's someone anonymous is asking, okay, what we have planned for accounting more specifically. So I will not go much into details here, um, but what's the objective is, is to bring reconciliation 
uh, of accountants to uh, to host away. Uh, as a first step, so um, today you have all of the information from the reservations available to you through financial reporting. Probably the piece that we're missing a little bit is the payout, the payout information and the transaction information. So we will um, try to get that from uh, from Airbnb, from Stripe, uh, what available. Um, but more, we will be adding more accounting capabilities through 2023, even possibly some uh, integrations as well with well-known accounting softwares as well. Okay, so maybe I take one last question. And there's many questions here. So we're going to take these questions. We're going to look at them internally. We can answer if possible. Um, there's a question here. Can invoices be customized to be more itemized? We are going to release a new version of invoices as well and payments um, also during Q1. And you will see more possibilities to itemize invoices, also to um, uh, configure the invoice and uh, um, to have a lot more options regarding uh, payment schedules, uh, payment schedules, tracking offline payments, etc. So yes, the short answer is yes. Any support related question uh, that we haven't answered? I'm seeing yours, uh, uh, Tana, uh, in the channel here in the Q&A. Any support related question that's not been answered? Uh, I've got a note here uh, from people that I've talked to already in the Q&A. Uh, but if there is any support question that's unanswered, uh, I will uh, make sure that they are uh, taken care of um, after the, the webinar today, just to let everybody know. But I, I do have all the questions here for uh, support. Sure, and these are great questions actually. And and what, what I will do actually from the product perspective is we take these questions. This for us is like product feedback. So we would I'm, I'm gonna take this to the team and we're gonna review all these questions and all these comments. And I'm pretty sure we will use it to incorporate onto the uh, the product development as well. All right, so I anything else from you, Andrew, maybe or Josh? I can see many people asking, you know, about the peer-to-peer -peer support, you know, things that we are working on. So not only about product, but the way to support. And uh, Josh has already addressed that. And so, and you you also told right with the test team and everything. So we are working in that direction, you know, to have better and different types of support. Right, so I can see a lot of feedback on that, and uh, we appreciate because we agree with you, right? So we are improving that. We are hiring more people, and we are also developing new ways of uh, providing support, right, in a better and faster way. And thank you very much, everyone that showed up for this. Uh, meeting and like Maria said so some of the things will go to support and some of the things will take care you know to answer that because we still have many many answers to go <laughs> I could yeah. barely scratch the surface awesome thank you great so thank you very much thank you everyone for joining us here today
I hope this webinar has uh, been very informative and very productive. I think it has, uh, judging by the questions and the comments. So um, I will we'll see you on the next webinar. I'm sure we're going to have one, another one very soon. So everyone, have a great yeah. rest of the day, whatever you are, and see you soon. Yeah, happy new year and have a and good 2023. I'll see you guys on the next webinar. Thank you. Bye.